Welcome, in this video I'm going to show you how you can create a pie chart using R uh, and using the pie function from the graphics from R, so not ggplot. Uh, I'm using Jupyter Lab as my um, uh, way of showing uh, the code, but uh, this would work just the same in uh, R Studio. Um, the version of R specifically that I'm using is 3.61 and the packages that come pre-installed are stats, graphics and a few of these others, uh, especially base is of course important and also graphics. Now to show how this goes I need to have some example data and in this particular case I'm using an SPSS file so I'll need the foreign library to actually load that in if you've never used that you can uncomment this and then it will install it for you and then of course still you need to load it um, now I can finally load the data um, I suppressing the warnings because I get a lot but they're not so relevant in this case and uh, the variable from which I want to see a pie chart is the marital status which is the mar1 variable and I can quickly create a nice frequency table out of it which shows that there's married, widowed, divorced, separated and never married and how many people chose each of those options. If you want there were also some missing values so you could also include the missing values and there were 33 in this case. Now actually to create a pie chart is fairly straightforward. You can just use pi and then f uh, this uh, table and it will generate your pie chart. Uh, so this is very plain. Uh, there's also a m good arguments to be made why perhaps a pie chart should not be the best kind of diagram. If you're interested in that, please check my website. Uh, it's in the description below. Um, but still, we can of course change a few things. Um, for example, at the moment um, it's uh, counterclockwise. So if we want, we can actually do all of it clockwise. So now all the categories are positioned in clockwise position. Uh, we can also change the angle from the first one a little bit so then it would look something like this. So now the first one is in a slightly different angle than uh, before. So basically I rotated everything 90 degrees. Um, you can add colors. So here I just picked the column uh, colors myself and now I get a whole bunch of different colors. Uh, we can change the size, so I put the radius at 1 and now it should be a little bit bigger if you compare this one with that one. Um, and perhaps the more important would be to actually add the percentages or to actually show the, the numbers and that's a little bit trickier but it can be done. Uh, first I'm going to store all those labels uh, by doing names. Uh, names will actually generate the labels that were use so those categories. Uh, I would like to see the percentages so I need to calculate those so that's what I'm doing with the proportion table which multiplied by 100 will give you the percentages. I then uh, need to basically combine this with a percentage sign so I can use a rounding of the percentages then combine it with a percentage sign and use as a separator uh, uh, basically a space um, so that there's actually no separation. Uh, there's no space here, sorry, so that it actually really appends to it, I think is the proper English. Then I can combine those two because I want the name of the category and of course the percentage and that should give me the labels the way I want them. I just need to put these now with my pie chart which I can do by simply uh, setting labels to that my labels 3 in this case. And that should give me a nice pie chart looking like this where we can actually see the percentages for each category. Uh, we could of course have combined all of this in one go with a small function and then I can use that function to create a diagram just in uh, one go. Now, there are a few other options with the pi function mm, and there's also of course the ggplot uh, version that you could use if you really want to do more with uh, fiddling around with this. But 
hope this gave a nice impression on how to quickly create a basic pie chart with R.